Well, I'm 80. I was born in 1942 in Hexham. My father was a butcher in Hexham. And I went to school at the SEAL school until I was 11 and then went to school in Newcastle. Um, after that, I married a farmer at Horsley, which is just 10 miles east of Hexham. And um, I've lived there till now. So I know Hexham quite well. The Abbey, you see, always played a big part because I was christened, confirmed and married in Hexham Abbey. So a lot of my memories are all about the Abbey. I mean, even now, I like to just walk through and have a little sit. <laughs> Times have changed. I mean, when I went to Horsley at first, there were two churches, uh, two shops, a post office, two pubs, and we've now got an antique centre and one church. I, I do think they should push the history of Hexham make it a real tourist place where the tourists want to come and visit. I mean, Hexham's got this huge amount of history and I think it's just a shame that you don't really hear about it. It's all about empty shops and um, turning historical buildings into flats. And, and I just think they should make it more of a tourist because I, I'm not sure that the shops are ever going to come back unless people stop buying on the internet. <laughs> I remember, well, obviously, um, as a child, uh, Hexham was very different. Uh, my father had a butcher's shop in the cattle market. Um, opposite was 4th Street. The sweet shop was Val Hare. Then there was a baker, which was also a Robson. And then Rob's were on both sides of the street. Um, I think there was a grocer along the middle, then there was a gentleman's outfitter who, when you bought anything, it was wrapped up in brown paper and tied up with string. And then at Christmas, you got a um, calendar with a little envelope on the side, which opened and you put your letters in. And then there was Robinson's, of course, which was another department store like Rob's, where when you bought something, you paid, put the, the, the money in a little container, they pulled the handle and it went up to the top and along to this little office. And then the change came back and down. Um, I always remember talking to a lady just a year or two ago, and she said she was the lady who sat in the office where the money went. Um, apart from that, I remember things like, uh, when I'd never seen a banana before. And my mother came home and she said she'd got some bananas under the counter. And uh, that was a fruit shop, Hunters, who were an old established shop as well in Hexham. And uh, presumably my father gave him meat under the counter. <laughs> I'm not very sure. When we were at school, at the SEAL school, it was just after the war and, and we were asked to collect rose hips. And um, I can't remember what we got for collecting these rose hips, a badge or something. Somebody else might remember that. But it was all to make rose hip syrup for the, for the babies uh, after the war. And I was, there was also, we used to perform at the musical festival at the Queen's Hall. And uh, I've got photographs, we're all sitting there with a triangle and a tambourine. <laughs> and that would be when we were about seven, I think, seven or eight. In 1955, Hexham hosted an exchange with a town called Nevergus in Germany. And this group of students came and stayed in Hexham and various families acted as hosts. And there again, you know, they did, they did the Roman Wall, the Lakes, Durham Cathedral, Hexham Abbey, you know, all the... And, and when you think about it, it was just after the war. It was quite, quite innovative to be able to take it. And then the next year, we went, well, we had two German boys stayed with us, and, and a group of us went back to Nevergus. And then over the years, we had a family who used to come and stay with my parents. 
and they just fell in love with Northumberland. They just love Northumberland. And one particular chap, he came with his wife and his children and over the years, they've just come regularly. And then, well, I've been a widow, <laughs> I've been a widow 20 years, and this particular chap was widowed six years ago, and he came after my mother died, used to come and stay with me. And he said, could he come and stay? And that's been it. And I now spend half the year in Germany. <laughs> and he comes when he's well enough to. Uh -huh. All from 1955. <laughs> yeah. I had my 80th birthday recently and he was, he couldn't actually at the end of the day come, but he had his speech all ready. And he was sad. There was only one other person in the room who'd known him as long as me. <laughs> and because I was in Germany, whenever we go to Germany, it's always telling everyone. I have known Elizabeth since she was 13. <laughs> so it's, it's quite interesting. <laughs>